Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect up a Joy-Con controller up to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator to play PlayStation 2 games using your Nintendo Switch Joy-Con controller. Let me show you the controllers right now. You should be seeing the controllers, the left one which is the red one and the blue one which is the right one. So this is just something to bear in mind, you can only, you know, use one at a time you can connect both of them up using the method i'll show you but when you map the control you have to select one or the other so for that reason i'm only going to show you how to connect one but the process is the same for connecting both if for whatever reason later on that is fixed in pcsx2 or if you have another you know you know method around it and you just want to know how to connect it up via bluetooth that's another thing make sure you have bluetooth because these use standard bluetooth so I'm going to get rid of this one and put it over here. And now we need to sync this up. So to sync it up, go to your Bluetooth settings, however you normally would in your Linux version or distro. And in here, we need to put this in pairing mode. You see this little button right here? That will make this star flashing like left and right. So if we keep that pressed, that's in pairing mode now. And now... It appears so Joy-Con L, which is indicating that it's the left one. So if I click that, this will say connected any moment now. What you'll notice is this does not stop flashing, it's connected now. This hasn't stopped flashing, that's fine, it is connected. It's just a you know a bug in the controller. Because again, it's not designed technically for you know using it on a computer with Linux, for example. It's for the Nintendo Switch. So on there, you wouldn't have that issue. Okay. So close this down, we need to map the controls now. And luckily there are enough controls to, you know, map it for, I'd say, most games. But again, you will still be somewhat limited. So we go to control, plugin settings. Uh, we're gonna go clear and select this one. It might already be selected. And because, you know, it's, it's keyboard and mouse, you can use, you know, keyboard and mouse as well. So if you come across a game where you need more controls than are available on one of your joy cons you can literally just use a keyboard and mouse and i've got a little like rubber attachment on here that's the reason it might look a little different okay so let's start syncing all this up so because i want to try it on tekken i want to be able to move this i want this to be a d-pad i want these to be face buttons I don't really need analog sticks, but I do need start and select. So, but again, depends on the game that you are playing. So let's do start and select. Let's get it focused in. Is that focused in? That's focused in now. Oh, you don't to focus in. Keep going out of focus. Okay, so now let's map this so up left down and right. Yep, and now let's do the face button. So triangle circle. x square again i'm not going to map the analog six i don't need them for this game i'm not going to map these but there are a few extra controls that we you know haven't mapped it so we haven't mapped these two so you could use this for r1 and r2 for example haven't mapped these two so that it could be used for r1 and r2 so you can get most of the controls in to be fair but you still will be somewhat limited but again you have the keyboard and mouse as well and then go to apply so enable force feedback it doesn't matter if it's on or not it doesn't in it support vibration okay so I'll just go to i'm just gonna fast boot because i've already got a game you know selected uh, so, there we go let me show you this I've just turned the volume down so it's easier for me to talk and for you to hear me. 
But yeah, it's all connected now. So you could literally just end the video now and just play, you know, your favorite PCX2 game. Your favorite PlayStation 2 game on the PCSX2 emulator. Like I said, it is somewhat limited, but it is still better than nothing. If you really do want to use a Joy-Con controller, there might be some particular reason why. And let me just finish this guy off. There we go. So that's how you connect up a Joy-Con controller up to your PC, up to your Linux machine, so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator. You could connect both up, and one could be for player one, the other one could be for player two, which you can configure in the settings. So you know, that, you know that could be a use case for having both of them connected. That's it. I've just paused it using the escape key, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.